All right. Okay. Okay. You want to start the video? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> well, today, we are going to kind of, I guess, recap a video that we've done in the past. It's a money. Yeah. Money, money, money. It's about money. <laughs> More so money going out. Like, what does it really cost to live in a trailer? <laughs> it's going to be different for each person because of our circumstance. We are currently parked. So depending on where you're parked, you know, if you can park somewhere for free. Yeah, so right now we're, we're parking free of rent. I have part of my parents' land uh, that we park on. They have about seven acres. We take about third of one acre probably <laughs> we don't yeah, we take don't much room you've probably seen other videos where we hooked up electric and water and things like that really we're not paying for any of that but the thing is the only difference between us like our situation and people that maybe travel around is that really i think it's about 300 350 you can probably get by on that per month and it includes water electric a lot of times pool and other amenities you get a place to park and so you also have that you know community uh, with our viewers and so we're looking to start doing that uh, here this earliest next year this video is just going to be about money what, we're, what our current situation is what we're currently paying that kind of thing we do get a lot of questions about how much it costs to live in an rv or a trailer what we do for work and we have videos on that previously the last time that we talked about money of course a lot of things have changed which also leads to why we haven't traveled a lot but we're going to kind of lay that out for you guys so you kind of understand where we are financially and I don't know, I always find finance videos interesting, so hopefully you guys do too. <laughs> so I'll start with like the uh, the basic aspect and then we'll get into the more complicated, more personal portions of it. The very beginning, obviously the trailer itself. We'll just start right there. We have a 25 foot trailer, normal regular old trailer. The thing costs a little over 20 grand after uh, a couple of changes that we made, like a new bed and war warranties. Yeah, new, new mattress warranties on a lot of the mechanical sides of, of things. We're paying less than 250 or right around 250 a month for the trailer after we got everything that we, we needed. That doesn't include all the little things that you didn't know that you needed, your hoses and electrical and all that stuff. Well, we already had a video on... We have a whole video based mm -hmm. on all the little extra things that you didn't know that you needed to buy <laughs> beforehand. Once you have them, basically you're good. But again, that's just another side thought. This two, this is two hundred and fifty dollars. It's about sixty dollars to insure a trailer, and that's fully. And that's actually me letting them know that I'm going to live in it too, as well. <laughs> You're just looking, do you want to chime in at all? Um, no, this is your thing. All right, yeah. And so uh, <laughs> the next thing is basically the thing that pulls the trailer, the car itself. Me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Blair, so really it's just maintenance costs on this, you know, and I just insure her. We have the trailer and the insurance on that. And then we also have what pulls the trailer, which is the truck. We did actually uh, get a truck that pulls around 8,500 pounds. So well above what we needed, we needed 5,400, 5,500. And that's wet, I guess. <laughs> Never know what to call it. They always say, oh, the it's, uh, it's 4,500 dry. I'm like, well, okay, then I guess it's real wet right now. Because <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty heavy sometimes, you know. <laughs> we're pretty wet right now. But we needed a truck that can can do the job. A level one ton in the future, but we just got one that's a Ford F one fifty XLT for the dogs. We got a little extra room for the dogs. That came out to be about four fifty, four thirty, I think, right around there, four thirty per month. But we only have that one car payment now. That actually turned out to be pretty pretty decent. So mm -hmm. right now we're sitting at four thirty and two fifty, six seventy, six eighty, depending on yeah. exactly where it is. Because I just don't know exactly what I'm paying for uh, the car right now it's it's right around there and we have insurance on that which is actually not bad it's another 60 bucks that kind of gives you an idea of you know how much this really costs how much that really costs there's a lot of good used trailers that you can get for even less than that so you can actually be paying less than what we did everything's running pretty well less than less than $800 um, even with insurance really or it's like right around $800 we were paying 1200 just for our apartment house was 1200 and then we got this and we actually have more freedom now and it's we're down at eight hundred dollars it's actually not a bad little deal uh we're perfectly happy with the room we have we don't have a lot of extra just stuff and so we yeah so we only have what we need we buy good products even just these pants that i'm wearing right now sixty dollars pants literally they've lasted me a long time now and they can be actually be used for swim shorts too as well and so you just think about every little thing about your life you learn to appreciate things i feel like this is like a credit what's that credit card commercial it's like you know, you know, trailers 250, <laughs> trucks 450, pants priceless. They're, but they were 60. Yeah. Oh yeah, 60 bucks. Well, okay. <laughs> pants and other thoughts. That, that's most of the main thing. And then we have ourselves. Those are the three components I was really going to talk about. You know, there's two of us. We both need health insurance. We both make a certain amount, and so we have to play around with, you know, how much, like, do we want to bring taxes, Obamacare, and all that stuff into it. Together, we pay about. $450, I think, for our insurance. I was going to downgrade that literally the day that I talked 
about it. I was like, you know, I really don't need insurance. Like I don't need as much as I have right now. I was gonna downgrade me, keep her pretty uh, well insured. Literally that same day, I broke my leg. So yep. yeah, just that's just life kind of stepping in, intervening with uh, <laughs> with my thoughts. It's more so like you're riding a bike and life throws the stick into your spoke. Yeah, it's like maybe you shouldn't be riding a bike. <laughs> Constantly correcting course. Really, everything's mm -hmm. going going well, and that's also one reason why we don't travel as much as we do because there's so many things that we have to take care of and like we're, we're sort of being careful we jumped into this whole trailer thing like wholeheartedly like uh no let's wait six months and we went to a trailer show and we're like let's buy it right now Done. we bought a trailer six months early planning's been going great uh we actually planned a big trip to florida it was supposed to be september but not too long ago it was supposed to be our big trip mm -hmm. and now our next big trip is planned for may we'll, we'll take smaller trips we're gonna probably go to I colorado in may anything in texas almost is a big trip though yeah yeah, pretty much once you're outside of Texas, you're everywhere else, yeah. you know, and so Texas is like, it takes 13 hours to get across the state or something like that. So um, one <sighs> of the reasons why I wanted to talk about money was because it seems like we're living very cheap at this point, you know, at base level because we have the trailer, we have the truck, and then you briefly mentioned insurance. With what's happened with life, we now have an added bill for his yeah, so leg. I, my leg was almost $6,000, um, and that's with insurance. And then of course, also, it took me about five months to actually get where, obviously, I am now, where I'm walking. I can't run, I can't push off of the leg, but I can stand on it, I can change directions pretty well. Really, I mean, I, we can travel again, but it's just, I haven't been comfortable with everything. And also, if you've been watching our vi videos, Brady's doing just fine. He's eating everything, <laughs> destroying stuff, and still just living his, the best life he can. So, but then there's little old Busby. I mean, he is, he ate something that was a little toxic. Um, and this was after a even lot. getting heartworms. Yeah. So he's cost almost a, about two thirds of what my leg costs. Basically almost nearly doubling my the cost of my leg. I mean, it's just been monetary issue after monetary issue, three of them, yeah. three big ones. But that's, that's pretty much the main monetary aspects. I mean, there's a couple of little things that we still owe money on, like I did go to college. So college equals very little education, but a lot of money spent, mm -hmm. but a lot of networking, which actually led to, again, the job that I, I, I got into now. A lot of the skills that I have now actually came through like what I was doing, pushing myself while at, at you know, university. So you didn't learn anything in school? Not much. So yeah, <laughs> no, but it, school is a great place to meet people. But yeah. either way, I owe money on that. Not a ton. I, I did very well in school in the fact that I, I worked through all of it and did all that. So I, I barely owe anything there. I think we have... A couple credit card, Target and Best Target. Buy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Target and Best Buy. But that's, you know, things happen. Again, mm -hmm. something breaks, you gotta replace it. And yep. why not throw it on a credit card and pay it out without uh, much interest to, little to no interest really. And then the, I've got like cell phone bill, which I use for my business. So that's able to be written off with taxes. And then our gym memberships. Which are actually minimal too as well. But again, if we're traveling, those go away. Yeah. I wouldn't see those as reoccurring while travel. Really, I'd probably that's... do like an anytime fitness membership, which is, I think maybe 50. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, with both of our bills, all, I mean, everything combined, I think we can stay under somewhere right around twelve to $1,500 for life, you know, paying for life. Until we travel. Yeah. Because and then you've got gas, you've got campground fees, which I've had a lot of people on here tell us mm -hmm. the places that they stay all outside of Texas are really expensive per month. So I'm not sure if it's just a Texas thing, but we found that staying for over a week gets you a pretty good discounted rate at RV parks. Well, I think a lot of people are also looking at places where you want to stay, like people want to be here. I'm, I'm thinking of cities oh. where I can also work too as well. I, I like I like kind of medium to small towns. Mm -hmm. I don't like big cities. Again, that's that's kind of where a lot of small businesses are, and that's that's, that's what true. I do. I didn't think about that. And so I've been looking outside of Texas. Even there is there can be an extra cost for electric and water over a certain amount. So there is that, and so we just have to think through all of that. And I'm also looking at places that have dogs included. You don't have to pay mm -hmm. extras and things like that. So, but uh, whenever we go to Colorado. I'm expecting to pay a good amount there. We are gonna wanna stay in some of the touristy areas a bit because we're also gonna meet my parents out there. That's baseline. That's where we're at baseline financially. And then, you know, we can do a more elaborate video. Again, there are videos talking about what we do for work, but his job has changed just a little bit, although he's still working with the same company, essentially. And like I said, this next year should be good. Like, it's gonna be fun for us. It should be fun for you. I want y'all to follow along and then, uh, 
with all of our failures and successes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot Seriously. of failures. I mean, we really appreciate all of y'all that have been here since the beginning. Heck, even before we had the RV channel back when it was just my fitness channel. That's awesome. And we appreciate you guys being here because a lot of the support and encouragement that y'all have given us has been really, really helpful. All of the tips and the, the love and the prayers whenever he had his broken leg and whenever Buzz was out both times. But you guys are so awesome. It's like our little RV family. It's been good. It's been fun. It's been good. You're touching my speaker here. Oh, my bad. That's it. I mean, basically you have specific things that you pay for. You know what you pay for. You have it in your mind all the time and you try to kind of push it into one one time period too as well so that you can manage it uh, very easily. What we have is we actually have an accountant. We share one with my parents. Uh, we all go at the same time. It's a big family thing. We, you know, it's like once a year. Let's go, go do taxes. Grandma. Yeah, go visit grandma. We do it in Waco. That's where my grandma lives. Yeah, yeah, we just have a good time talking about money then. And then my dad's like obsessed with money. Mm -hmm. Pretty Which awesome with him. Helpful because you've grown up with a good understanding of money and investing yeah. and finances and mine hasn't been been as much right. you know we came into this relationship just like spending all <laughs> i came in the same way too as well trying to get hurt you know and you'll see here probably in the next year i, I mean this year was was my year to be like i want to save money and then i'm going to eventually buy this like I have, I, have a, I have a concept for a house i definitely want to buy land i'm not sure where exactly and so i have all these investments i want to make that land and, and structures are an investment and i even want to look past that too as well investing in other companies and things like that or but go off the grid so that's YouTube. a whole other video as well <laughs> because I do want to talk about that in a video but once we start saving instead of spending you know 10,000 plus just on medical crazy it's a crazy year bad no. year on that side great year on it's, everything it's else it's been so good though even with that it's been a really good year it's been I'd great say one of the experience. one of the more memorable ones for us lots <laughs> happened this year I feel like it's been longer than a year yeah but it has not we haven't even gotten to a winter yet I don't even know what to do in a winter we found out we have a heater it's electric oh and surprise we might have another one coming heater yeah all right I think it's gonna be pretty cool yeah Have next video been. Blair burns down a trailer no <laughs> all right I think that's gonna be it for now if you guys have any money financial questions feel free to post them below or anything to add in um, I am curious about the rates for the campgrounds that you guys are staying at I'm interested because it seems to be a really wide range so what have you guys found in your area? Where are you and what does it normally cost per month to stay at the, the RV park? Any monetary questions? Uh, I mean, direct them towards me and Blair will let me know to answer yep. them and I'll jump on and start, you know, adding my thoughts to comments. Or, I mean, we could do videos. Or videos if it's a, a big topic, yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it. All right, that's all. That's it. Thank you all for watching. Always, heck yeah, thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate you. Hopefully you're having a good day. We are. And uh, of course, as always, we hope you have fun out there. Golly. <laughs> Where's the button? Can't really see it. <laughs>